All right, folks, welcome back to the Sports Desk. We're going to wrap it up with the two Ironbird interviews, one with Kyle Moore, the new manager, and also um, Robbie Thornburg, who um, plays for uh, used to play for UNC Wilmington. So thanks for tuning us in tonight here on the Sports Desk Live. Uh, we'll see you all on July 11th. In the meantime, here is the interviews from the Ironbirds Media Day last Wednesday. Well, I'm the one who asked you. Well, you came from NC, NC Wilmington. UNC yeah. Wilmington, So yeah. let's talk about, you know, last year playing there and this year you guys, you know, your team made it to the, uh, almost made it to the Super Region. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, so we got a pretty good history. Uh, my four years at Wilmington, I was two for four in regionals. Uh -huh. And we got to within one game of getting to the first ever Super. We were one win away from doing it. But, you know, I keep in touch with a lot of those guys. It's always great to see them, you know, get back because last year we didn't make a regional. Uh -huh. My senior year we did not. So this year, seeing them get back to the regional was great and then just getting so close. But, you know, hopefully one day yeah. in the near future they get over that hump and make it to a Super. What did you learn from Coach Mark down there? Coach Scaff, uh, I mean, I he got me when I was, you know, 18 years old, just coming out of high school, thought I knew everything. And, you know, you get humbled really quick. But he's just a great guy. He's been there for, you know, 20, 20 some years. One of the best in the business. And, you know, he, he teaches the game the right way. And all of his players have nothing but good things to say about him. Yeah. I'll talk about this ballpark. I guess it's not what you see a lot down in the, <laughs> throughout Florida. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. This definitely beats the GCL, that's for sure. Yeah. You know, this place is awesome, you know. This is exactly what, you know, every kid dreams of playing at a stadium like this. Um, I've played some big teams before, but this, you know, this probably takes the cake. This has everything you need, everything you want, and I just can't wait to see this thing packed yeah. with a bunch of fans screaming. <laughs> Opening day, what are you excited for the most, maybe? Just, just to play baseball again, just to be back out there playing in front of fans, playing in a, you know, a packed house, getting those, you know, those butterflies, those, those good jitters. But um, I'm just ready for Friday to get here, just ready to get back on that field. All right. All right. We're good. Hello, please join us July 18th and July 19th, live from the Western in Charlotte, North Carolina, for the 2018 ACC kickoff. We'll have a lot of interviews from all the student-athletes from both the Coastal Division and in the Atlantic Division. You can listen to us starting July 18th at 11 a.m. and also on July 19th at 10 a.m. right here on Herbertown Sports Radio on speaker.com. If you want to listen to us anytime, you can visit us at www.herbertfemsports.webly.com or you can visit us on iHeartRadio, keyword Herbertfem Sports Radio.
you know, unfortunately for the average fan, they don't really understand that. We have guys that are trying to develop on the mound, the starting pitchers, position players that are trying to get at bats, and we're trying to teach them how to be a professional all at the same time. So sometimes winning can take a little bit of a backseat to that, but make no mistake, we all want to win, and I want to win every game. And so um, I'm going to do the best I can to put our players in the best position they can while they're developing to win some games because I want to win some. I hate losing worse than anything, and I'm going to do my best to uh, – to give us a shot here when we have a chance to win. So um, about the roster, we do have some guys that aren't here that we kind of hope to see. We sure. had some guys that went to the College World Series. And uh, as a former college player, it was always a dream of mine to go to the College World Series. I was one game away once and never did. So I would never wish somebody to lose because yeah. I know that feeling. Right, sure. and, uh, and so I'm really happy for them that they get to go to Omaha. With that being said, I hope they have a great tournament and they sign and they get here as soon as possible. Well, talk about your college career. You went to Alabama because we already talked about the bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. you know, just talk about your career. You know, how did you, you, know, you played college ball in Alabama? And, you know, what, what, where did you go after that? So, I, I played in college in Alabama for four years. Uh, all four years there. I uh, was like, like a utility player, ended up a catcher. That's where I found a spot on the field. That's how I was able to get on the field. So, that's where I stuck. Uh, I played with some really good players at Alabama, a lot of big leaguers. Um, so I learned a lot there, playing at a really high level. From Alabama, I actually was a non-drafted senior, and I went I went and played a little winter ball in Australia. And, and uh, I played summer ball once here in the, right around this area with the Yaos Orioles in the Cal, uh, Calvary Senior League. So that's where the Orioles had kind of first saw me. Played for a scout named Dean Albany, who still works for us today. And then after college, I, I wanted to play some more. Uh, I had a little bit of a dinged up arm, had some, had a clean out process done, played winter ball in Australia, and, it's, and then the Orioles actually saw me in Australia and said, hey, uh, you want to come over to spring training, we'll give you a minor league free agent deal. And so I said, absolutely. I jumped all over that opportunity. And when I came here, just uh, wanted to get after it and work as hard as I can and stay in the game. And I, I never thought I'd be sitting here, but I knew I wanted to be in the game um, as a career, so, so I'm really fortunate to have stayed in it. And you had practice here last night with the guys for the first time, right? We did. Yeah. Well, not for the first time. We, we had a we had an afternoon workout mm -hmm. on Monday, um, and then and then last night we had a 7 p.m. workout under the lights because of the age of these players and where they're coming from. Some of these guys have never played in a stadium, and then secondly, they never played under the lights in Florida because they're always playing those noon games. So I wanted them to get some fly balls in the lights, see the stadium, get the sight line, and figure out. Uh, exactly what, it's, what it might look like in a game so that we don't run out there for the first time with all these fans that, that we have here. Your eyes are just big. <laughs> exactly. The, world. And the last thing they're looking at is the baseball. We right. Like that. So, <laughs> we're going to try to knock those kinks out tonight again at 7. So that's what we're hoping for. You did not play here.